Hello everyone, it's Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. So today I have a special treat for you guys. I am collaborating with the beautiful Mariela here on YouTube. Her channel's name is Makeup with Mariela. She is one of my favorite people to watch. She has the most beautiful eye looks. I get so much inspiration from her. She loves color. She does shop my stash. She does project pans. She does tutorials for you guys. I have been enjoying her channel lately and I did ask her if she wanted to collaborate with me on some fun idea for you guys and I wanted to share her channel with you guys on my channel. So today we decided to do limited edition products that we actually really love and wish they were still around. Now this, it was kind of hard for me. Surprisingly, I don't have too many limited edition products that I have purchased that I could say that I want to come back because a lot of the products that I do genuinely love have actually been discontinued and haven't been limited edition. So I had a little bit of a hard time finding things, but I did come up with quite a few things. So I'm gonna share with you guys what I have. Please don't forget to check out Mariela's channel. I am dying to see what she has. She has a lot of great products that she shares on her channel. So I'm curious to see what limited edition products she wishes were still around, that she still loves and uses till this day. So I am definitely gonna link her channel down below. If you have never heard of her, you definitely should check her out. So I'm gonna put her down in the description box as well as the iCard so you can go ahead and check her out. But now, without further ado, we're going to get into the products that I am going to share with you. So first and foremost, I'm going to share with you guys two highlighters that I wish were still around because I love them and I could genuinely say that I would recommend all these products if they were still around. The first one is this Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick Compact. This is in the color Apricot. This was one of my very, very first Bobbi Brown shimmer bricks that I ever purchased and it made me fall in love with the formula. This is that gold, corally, apricot type of sh shade. What's on trend now, this is what it is. I love wearing this in the summertime. It is absolutely beautiful. The formula is so good on these two. It doesn't accentuate any of my texture fine lines or any uh, imperfections that I have on my skin. It wears like a dream all day, and this is going to last about 10 generations of family members. This sucker I've used so much, and it looks like I barely have touched a dent on it. This is one of my favorites. This was limited edition, and I wish that she would keep this permanent because I think a lot of people would gravitate towards this one because it's not super gold. It's not super champagne or pink. It's that beautiful, goldy, peachy type of highlighter, but it's not so deep that light skin tones can't wear it. So I wish this was still around. I would definitely recommend that if you can. It's just such a beautiful shade. I, every time I see it, it just brightens my day up. I love this one. I genuinely love this one. Another highlighter that, or this is a highlighting palette that I wish was still around. It was limited edition. And I think I did not hear one person mention that they hated this. I didn't like it. Everyone raved about it. And this is the NARS Blanc Disable Palette. This is one of my favorites. I love the NARS formula. If I could pick a mainstream brand that I love almost everything from, it would be NARS. This was so beautiful. I don't use it as often on camera because I know I don't want to annoy anyone, but this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. If you've never tried a NARS highlighter, I would highly recommend them. Look at this. This is just stunning. I normally just mix all of them in the summertime and pop it on and it just looks so beautiful. Love this formula. I love this texture. It's just such a beautiful formulation. This is one of those ones where it doesn't accentuate anything on your face as well and it wears like a dream all day. Love this palette. I honestly wish that this was one of those ones where they would have kept it as permanent because NARS does do a lot of limited edition palettes this is one of those ones that I really wish they would have kept in their permanent collection because I think this will constantly be sold out. It's just that good. Now moving on, this is one of my oldest quads, but I can never let this go because I really, really like this. This is from Sonia Kashik, and I don't even remember what it was called. This was limited edition. Now it is completely discontinued. Sonia Kashik no longer does makeup. She only sticks to eye brushes, or I should say brushes in general. And this is something that I just loved. I don't know what the name of this was. These were those metallic eyeshadows. And let me tell you, these still work like a dream. Look at this. These are so beautiful. I love using these on my eyes as pops of colors all over the lid. Look how beautiful that is. 
This formula is to die for. I wish she would have kept this permanent in her collection. This was limited edition. It was for like a winter collection or maybe a summer collection, but it was just so beautiful. I knew a few who had done tutorials on it. I don't remember how old this is, but it's good. It still works fine. I really, really like it. I have done so many declutters and that quad has lasted all those declutters. I just love this. I'm actually going to use this again because I just really, really like it. It just sits on your eyes beautifully with a glitter glue. It looks like a dream and you can you can control how metallic you can get it if you wet your brush or do it subtle or really pack it on. It all depends on how you put it on your eyes, but it is beautiful. I actually did a tutorial using this years ago. I'll tell you guys what year because then you'll be like, really Alex? Yeah, I know. Now into my last three products. They're all palettes. These are all eyeshadow palettes. I have a ton of eyeshadow palettes that I wish were still available, but some of them have been, a lot of them have been discontinued. And these three are more limited edition, so I wish they would have been permanent because I think that they were really, really good. First one is from Tarte. This is Make Believe in Yourself. Tarte rarely does color. They just recently came out with a colorful palette, but they rarely do color, but when they do, I really like it. And this one was one of my favorites. This is that metallic -y type of eyeshadow as well. This is as most color have I seen Tarte do, minus the new one that they just came out, which is truly like a rainbow palette. But this one is beautiful. I loved the finish of these. These just really packed a punch in your eyes. It just stood out. And it, unfortunately, it was limited edition. Oh, this is so pretty. It's beautiful. You don't get a lot of mattes. You get one matte in here. But how many mattes do we have? You can probably pull out an eyeshadow and just pair it with this. But just this is beautiful. I love how these look on the eyes. You get a nice variety of cooler. Some of them are warm and neutral. So you get a few different undertones in here and different colors. So you can cater to whatever look you're looking for. I wish this was permanent. They should have kept this one permanent because it really stands out compared to how Tarte does palettes. It's the same type of tones every time. And this one was very unique and different to their collection. And if they would have kept this, I think this would have sold out constantly because it is really good. The next one should be no surprise to those that have been following me for a very long time. This is the BH Cosmetic Weekend Festival palette. This was last year's palette for BH Cosmetics. I still can find this one for $13 on Kohl's' website. A few of you have used that link and have been able to find it yourselves and have purchased it on my on my recommendation and you have loved the palette. If I still can see that it's on the Kohl's website, I will link it down below. But as of right now, this is completely gone. It was limited edition, but look at this palette. It's just beautiful. It screams summer. It screams color. It screams fun and excitement. I just love this palette. I wish that there was more palettes like this where it's not a rainbow palette. You're getting pops of neutrals with bright, vibrant colors in them, and they all pair so beautifully together. Pigmentation is there. I've done tutorials. I've done a review, I've done swatches, I've done palette bingos with this palette. I've done a bunch of things with this palette because I love it so much. If I remember to link any of them, I will. It's a beautiful palette. If you have it, cherish it because it is completely gone. I love this palette. You guys know it. I'm not going to continue on it because I constantly rave about it. Last but not least, it is actually eyeshadow bundles that I have purchased over the years and I love these. Every time they come out with a bundle, I get it because I love the formula. I love the color stories that they come out with. But it's a shame because they normally have them only as a limited edition and they rarely keep them on their website as permanent. And what I, uh, who I'm talking about is Luxy Beauty. They are an indie brand and look at this. These are three different bundles that I have purchased from them in the past and look how gorgeous these look. I have duochromes in here, I have metallics in here, I have mattes in here. These are all absolutely beautiful. I cannot get enough of these. I have done reviews on these, I've done two looks on palette from these. Again, if I remember to link anything down in the description box, I will. These are just some of my favorite type of eyeshadows. I just love them. I love their collection that they come out with. It's just so beautiful. I, if you haven't checked them out, I would recommend them. I know that some of us don't, I, I guess, are hesitant when it comes to indie brands because they're not well known. Or, um, you have to pay for shipping and things, but I think that they are worth it 100%. You're getting great quality for inexpensive costs. It's, it's worth the cost. And they just recently drop their prices on their single eyeshadows and their highlighters. So if I was paying the higher price on these, 
you bet you that I'm going to pay the, the cheaper one. And it, now is the time. Now I know they're going to sell out a bunch of stuff. So I am, they're coming out with a new collection soon, and you know I am on top of that. I will be getting that no matter what. I am definitely going to go and get that bundle, whatever it is that they're coming out with. But these are beautiful. If you haven't checked out Luxie Beauty, I would highly recommend them. They're one of those brands that come out with a lot of limited edition bundles, but they are worth it. They are worth it 100%. I love them. All right, you guys, so that is it for my limited edition products that I still love to this day, that I wish were still around, and I wish you guys can get your hands on them. If you do have these products, I would recommend pull those suckers out, enjoy them, don't let them go to waste, and who cares if they were limited edition? There is so much out on the market nowadays that things are very rarely not able to find something similar. Like, there is a bunch of dupes out there. There is no way that we can say that something is that unique that you can't find a dupe for something. So that's why I still keep my limited edition products. I still use them on camera. I still enjoy them because I know I am all, like a 99.9% .9 that you will be able to find something in your collection that looks super similar. And I always joke around and say that there is no dupe police. Nobody's going to go up to your face and... But I know that what you're saying is on your face. It doesn't look exactly the same. It's going to look the same on your face regardless with maybe a little bit of a undertone difference or a little bit of a darkness, a lighterness. But who's really going to know the difference? I know I'm not. So anyway, I will definitely try to find these if I can. Maybe on a third market, second market. I don't know. If you guys can find them, I will try my best. I will list them down below just in case if you do want to do your research and try to search for these products down in the description box and find them somewhere. We can buy, buy, buy them on Poshmark, Mercari, somewhere out there. eBay, I don't know. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're coming from Mariela's channel, welcome to the family. I hope you stay and subscribe. Thank you so much, Mariela, for doing this with me. I had a blast pulling these out, and you actually made me think about these products. It did take me about two to three days to really go through my collection and pick these products out. If you have not checked out Mariela's channel, I would highly recommend it. You guys are going to enjoy her. She's fun. She has a daughter. She does shop my stash, and I love that little shopping cart that she has. I've actually been looking for one. That I just I really do like her vibe, and she's just very relaxed and fun to watch so if you haven't checked her out please check her out down in the description box tell her I sent you and tell her I said hi and I hope you guys have a wonderful day I will probably catch you tomorrow with a new video and don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear bye guys